drink this potion. It's actually good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome. If you're new here, I'm Lisa and I love to read and that's all for my presentation. <laughs> Today I want to share with you my summer TBR, so the books I want to read this summer. And there are eight of them and they are very wild in diversity. I'm being very inclusive this summer. And the main reason why I'm doing that is that lately I've been a bit in a reading slump meaning that I have been reading, but I haven't been reading amazing books, so my read, read reading challenge is has been taking a bit of a toll on its counts, and the robot controlling Goodreads tells me that I am three books behind on my challenge. I intend to read 35 books this year, and that, that should be, you know, not a problem. Last year I read 34, so, you know, it's not like an outstretched, and yet, I'm still having trouble, you know, picking up books and reading and reading. Oh, also mostly because I'm reading enormous books recently, but still. So that's why I decided to do this little summer list. And I want to share with you what books I picked, because maybe, you know, it will give you some ideas. And most of the books I decided to pick are well-known books, they've won prizes, and that's why I picked them, because I don't want to get into a summer of reading disappointing books again, you know? <laughs> the first book I picked is from an author that I really like, and it's Taylor Jenkins Reid, and it's one of the... You know, I think I think she doesn't have many books that I haven't read, so it's one of the few books that I haven't heard read from her, and it's called After I Do. So I don't know what the books are about. I don't like knowing what books are going to be about because I feel like even though it's not a you know straight up spoilers, it does give me a bit of an idea of what to expect, and I don't like that. I love to be surprised. And especially when I'm reading a book that is long, if I already know, for example, that there's going to be a love triangle, then, you know, I'm expecting it. I'm expecting it to happen. And I don't like that. I want to go into a book completely blindsided. So that's why I'm not going to share with you what the book is about. But if you're like me, then good for you. And if you want to know, because you're interested in the book, then please go on Goodreads, go on whatever platform you like and read the, the summary. And yeah. But me, I won't, I won't be telling you, because I, I don't even know myself. The second book I'm going to read is actually quite a popular one. It's from Emily Henry, and it's called Book Lover. I have my list here, so that's why I'm looking there. Uh, it's called Book Lover from Emily Henry, and it's uh, I think it's a romance. Um, but that's all I know about it. <laughs> I just know it's, it's been very, very popular, and I feel like that's the most typical summer book that I can read this summer. Because some of the books I'm going to present to you are not very summery vibe. I think this one is. The third book is uh, from Sally Rooney, which actually I've read a book from her before. I've read Beautiful World, Where Are You? from her. And I really like this book. Like not just liked it in the sense of from start to finish it was a blast, but it was such a great evolution, you know? I started this book being kind of like, what the fuck? And then, 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 <laughs> the genius of Sally Rooney got revealed to me and I really liked it. So that's why I want to read this summer Conversations with Friends, which is one of her other books that I haven't read and I think I have friends that really enjoyed it. So that's on the list. And I think that is more of a contemporary read. It's not a romance. Contemporary is super wide, but I don't actually know how to describe it better. Kind of like literary fiction, I guess. The fourth one is fantasy, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it's fantasy. And it's from V.E. Schwab, which is, who is an author that I have, I've never read anything from her, not even the, 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 the Nana Life of Adi Laru. I don't remember the beginning of the book, but I haven't read that. I know, I know it's bad, I have to. I will, I will, but no. This summer I will be reading Gallant from her, and I do think, yeah, it's fantasy, so we'll see. The fifth book is Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. 
And this book, this book, I've been wanting to read it so much, not only because my friend Rama has told me when she was reading it, Lisa, this book is for you, <laughs> but also because the cover is beautiful. People have been talking very highly of this book. And I think, yeah, I think I can really dig it, especially because Rama told me, uh, I won't tell you anything about it because you will enjoy this book way much more if you don't know what it is about than if you do. And again, I love that. I love this spirit. <laughs> so I'm very excited to read this book and it's been on my to-do list, on my to-do list, no, it's been on my TBR for a while and yeah, uh, I have expectations for this book. Hopefully I won't be disappointed. The next book is uh, a thriller, a mystery thriller. And I do like a bit of a mystery thriller in the summer. I think it's a good change of atmosphere, you know, it's a bit more gripping, you want to know who did it. And I picked for this genre The Maid from Nita Prose. And I picked this one because mostly it won the award, the Goodread Award for the mystery thriller of 2022. So I figured, okay, let's see if I agree with the community. So we'll see if I like it or not. I don't know what it is about either. I just picked it up because it won the Goodread Award. That's it. The next book is uh, a science fiction, actually, and it's called The Sea of Tranquility. I can't say that word. I've tried, but I, I can't. Tranqu a Sea of Tranquility. A, a Sea of Tranquility. Yeah, that works. It's from Emily St. John's Men St. John Mendel. And, uh, and yeah, this book has won Goodreads Award for the science fiction category of 2022, so that's why I decided to pick it up. And I'm not a big fan of the science fiction genre. It's not, it's not a, you know, a genre that I go to because I find mostly the books in this category are quite thick, and it's normal because they have, you know, to, you know, introduce you to this world that is not the one in which we live in. I think that's the point of science fiction, right? I have some issues, you know, getting into the science fiction universe, basically. I have read some before and I have enjoyed them, but it's not my go-to. So with this one, and I am a bit wary going into this book, not because of this book in particular, but because of the genre. But you know, I want to, I love to be surprised again. <laughs> so, so that's why I did pick a science fiction book for my summer read. The last book that I picked up is a horror book. And I have something to say about the horror genre. The horror genre has disappointed me for years now. Because the last horror book, and you know, horror book, I read was Mexican Gothic and this book was not horrific, this book was not scary, this book did not impede me from sleeping at night. This book was at best a thriller, but it was not horror. And so I'm having issues understanding what people mean by horror books. They're supposed to be scary, they're supposed to not just be horrific, you know? I mean, at least that's my point of view, because mystery and thriller can be horrific, but the horror genre in and of itself should be horrific and impede you from sleeping at night, you know? I want to feel some anxiety reading this <laughs> reading this genre. And most of the time I, I, I'm not, I don't think it deserves to be in the horror category. And I include Stephen King. I think I've read some books from Stephen King and again, they were not scary, like not to me at least. This book in the horror category has won the best horror book in 2022 for the Goodreads um, Award. And it's called Hidden Pictures by Jason Reku... Rekulak. Sorry. I don't know what it is about, but I'm telling you, my expectations are high while being at the same time, preparing myself to be at the same time disappointed by it. But we'll see. Honestly, I'm, I'm super open for a good surprise and I'm super open for a good horrific book. But, you know, time has taught me that Horror category is not so much horror than it is a special thriller, you know. Anyway, that's it. Those are my books for the summer. So as we can see, it's quite diverse. I'm being, again, very inclusive with all the genres. I'm super excited to get on with those books because all of them obviously interest me. Even though the science fiction, I'm a bit wary going in. 
I still want to see why it won this award for getting into the summer 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 reading I do need to finish Game of Thrones <laughs> so this is the, the third book of the saga I am currently 85% in the book so I have done amazing progress uh, but I do still have five hours left in the book because because you know this book is more than a thousand pages so yeah I will tell you probably more about it in the next vlog or something but um, I've really liked the third book way much than the second book I'm reading it faster even though it's been I guess close to three weeks now that I've been reading it yeah that's it please let me know in the comment section what you are planning on reading this summer if you are planning on reading this summer and uh, if if yes what is your like favorite genre in the summer because I know many people it's romance but I personally don't like reading only romance books in the summer. I like to have a broad um, selection in front of me. So that's it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Bye!